is up everyone? Mr. Raviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Dine Out here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, we ran our restaurant and it almost became a five-star establishment. We are so close, I'm not going to lie guys. But when we got home from a long day of running the restaurant, <gasps> Isabella is gone into labor. She's about to have a baby. It could be a boy, it could be a girl, it could be twins, it could be anything. We don't know. But we just have to get her to the hospital. That's all we really do know. So let's quickly grab her and just run to the hospital. How do we get to the hospital? I always forget. Okay, 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 okay. Have a baby at the hospital. Uh, join. I have Alfonso join. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to the hospital. We're going to have a baby. I'm nervous. I don't want Isabella to pop out 10 babies because we can't afford that right now. Please, only one baby. But guys, <laughs> before we get into this episode, do not forget to show that like button some love. If you guys have the ability to do so, I'd really appreciate it because every like helps the channel grow and helps the series get noticed. So if you enjoy the channel and, and me as a content creator, please show that like button some love down below. But let's get into the episode without further ado. And as you can see, uh, we have Alfonso freaking out over here and Isabella about to pop. So it's time to check in. <laughs> let's, let's check in at the front desk. Time to have a baby. Alfonso's got to pee. He just spent like 12 hours at work, so we probably should send him quickly to use this and then wash his hands. Okay. So she's checking in. She's like, hey, just to let you know, nurse, like, I'm in labor about to, like, give two babies, so let's just go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, she doesn't want medicine. She does not want medicine. Don't let her get the medicine. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Check us in. Check, check in at the front desk. Check in, check in, check in, check in. Check us in! We're gonna pop! We're gonna have babies! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alfonso? Alfonso, where are you at? Where are you at, Alfonso? Go here, Alfonso. Alfonso! Alfonso, you're gonna miss it! Okay, Alfonso, Alfonso, go here. Go there, Alfonso. Okay. Okay, so she's laying down. Oh, no, she's about to have the baby. Alfonso, where are you? Where are you, Alfonso? Hurry! Isabella's having a baby! Oh, my God, look at this. This is, uh... This is, uh... <laughs> oh, this looks very miserable. Looks like something you don't want to experience in life. I already know I'm not experiencing it, that's for sure. <laughs> like, look at this. She's like, oh, no. Oh, no. I just I just do not want this. This is something I do not want. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. And let's just take a picture of that because that's too funny to pass up. Okay, so let's see here. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? Who's going to be right? Oh, no. They're squirting the glue. That's when you know the baby's coming. And they're getting the hook ready. Alfonso's here to watch in, uh, in amazement. Ah, they pulled out her heart. This doctor's not doing a very good job. Come on. Pull, oh, they're squirting the glue everywhere. Okay. Oh, my God. Congratulations. It's a girl. Birth, life, the universe, and everything. Oh, wait. It'll be a long road, kid. Isabel uh, just gave birth to a girl. Uh, the baby needs a name. So, you know, we're going to... Costa, obviously, is the last name. Uh, uh, what's the baby's name going to be? Girl name. There were so many good suggestions. It's going to make this so hard. Oh, man. Um, Girls, I like so many names, but we're going to go with... Layla, Layla Costa is our new girl. Baby Layla, everyone welcome baby Layla in the comment section down below right now. Welcome Layla. <laughs> she needs a big old welcome. Happy birthday Layla would probably be more fitting. Okay, so there we go. Layla has been born guys. And now Alfonso gets a much needed day off from the restaurant to, I don't know, raise his new daughter. So let's head home. Uh, both party's gonna just head home we're not gonna check in anymore so let's go ahead and let's get out of here everyone head home let's go make a new bedroom <laughs> we're gonna why why does everyone want mailbox i've been seeing that a lot lately people want mailbox to be our kid's name what is mailbox is this an inside joke that i just do not get um okay so let me see here so our baby is where they tossed her in there with grandma already and grandma's already got her Oh no, Grandma. Okay, so let me see here. Um, we gotta make some changes to this house, okay? And that's fix number one. There we go. So let's see here. What do we want to do with this house? We obviously want to have probably the baby's room upstairs with us because that would make probably the most sense. So this is where we'll build the baby's bedroom. It'll be a bedroom slash playroom, and it's gonna be amazing. Now we only have four thousand dollars to our name, so 
We can't be blowing stacks on stacks, but we can still make a pretty decent bedroom. Ooh, this is actually pretty expensive. This is pretty expensive. Okay, so that costs almost $1,000 just to kind of wall this all in. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's do that and then come over here and, uh... Oh, boy, this is really bad. This is, this is very expensive, very costly. Uh, let's get some windows because you don't want a, like, totally non-windowed room for our child's room. That's kind of sad and depressing. Okay, so let's go like, eh, actually we could just go like this again, you know, just keep it kind of chill. Two windows, nothing crazy. Okay, so there we go, nice, and we're not blowing bank. Oh my god, we blew so much bank, so much of our bank is gone. Okay, so let's get another roof. We want more roofing. Give us the roofs, bro. Okay, so what kind of roof is this? It's like curved? Triangular? Triangular curved? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I think about this. Let's go like this, and then like this. And then we can lower it like that, and we can go like that, and boom. Okay, and then we could probably even go here and grab like another tiny, tiny one of these, and flip it this way, and, and then lower it down like that. Ooh, that looks pretty. I like that. Okay, so let's go like this. Boom. Nice. Nice, nice, nice and grab that and grab all of that oh, oh oh there we go i got it okay so there we go beautiful new house beautiful uh <laughs> upgraded house so let's go downstairs and we gotta we gotta make the baby's room so this room is gonna be the baby's room it's giant it's gonna have a bathroom i think too because this house only has one bathroom and that's not gonna work for the amount of people we have now so a tiny bathroom and then a big bedroom slash playroom. We'll probably do bedroom uh, out in the back and playroom up front. I don't know. Something like this probably, right? So we added a whole wing to the house. We got bathroom um, and then bedroom and then office or something. And I think that will be a nice fit. So let's get some type of door. <laughs> we don't have any money. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, what kind of door do we want? I kind of want an archway uh, to go into this room because... It'll be free-flowing and feel so open concept and, and cool. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to do something like that. Uh, okay, so there, you know, nothing crazy. But it allows us to just flow from one room to the other. Uh, let me go with, like, this lighter brown door for this and for that. And can we make this a lighter color? Was, it, was dark wood the only option here? Uh, let's try to go like this. Okay, we need to make this... A little bit lighter, right? I feel like it should be at least a little bit. Well, let's just go with white. Okay, and now we need to, uh, we need to wallpaper this all up, okay? Um, you know, we're gonna just wallpaper everything right now. Just try to get just a nicer look. Now, it is a baby girl, so let's just give her the, the stereotypical baby, uh, girl stuff. And then tiling for the bathroom is going to be this, uh, this, this, like, tile right here. Just like an ugly tile. <laughs> Everyone's favorite tile, ugly! Okay, so now we need lighting, and the lighting in this room sucks, man. The lights in all these rooms pretty much suck. So let's go to lighting and try to get something a little bit better. Uh, you know, I love these little hanging ball ones here with, like, th this little flower material. Um, and then this one is an office, so it probably shouldn't have the same style lighting. I still want something that's hanging, though, because I feel like that looks really cool. So, how about that? And then, uh, actually, wait, we should actually just go with, like, something more, something just more, uh, professional, you know what I'm saying? Right here, this, this is pretty professional. Okay, and then we need some wall lights to make this bathroom look cool, so let's find some wall lights. And let's go like this, okay? So, wall light, wall light. Okay, you know, beautiful. It's beautiful wall lights. Uh, and then let's go... Let's, let's flip let's flip it let's flip it all the way and then oh god we gotta put walls up okay so let's just go really high like that and I'm gonna go even higher with this one because it looks weird being low very small bathroom kind of like dungeony and gross but for now I guess that's gonna be the golden ticket a dungeony gross bathroom Boom, office walls, uh, or flooring, and then carpet for this room for sure. We're going to go with like a nice light color. And then we're going to need some type of tiling or stone 
for this, and uh, I think I'm gonna go with just like a nice light blue because I kind of want to change this color palette up a little bit. You can't change the color palettes of the walls. Ah, these people, these people, some people, guys. Oh god, that's very girly. But that's cool. You know, I like it. It's very blue. I like blue. Okay, so let's see. We need a bathroom now. Actually, we need a bedroom more than a. Actually, we do need a bathroom pretty bad. Fourteen hundred dollars though. Oof, that's. We're getting in uh, dangerous territory here, guys. Uh, let's try to get a shower up in here. It's, it's very, very dangerous, guys. Okay, so let's try this. Oh boy. Okay, so there we go. Happy shower. Okay, hold on now. We gotta put the shower in this corner. It only makes fiscal sense. Uh, and then toilet. Okay, so mm, nothing crazy. And we're pretty much broke now. Uh, can we even afford a bed? Oh, Jesus. We gotta make some money, guys. This is getting sad. This is, this is next level. Next level sad. Like, that's our house right now. Oh, God. Okay, well, you know, no one said we were billionaires. Uh, no one said we even had money, because <laughs> it doesn't really look like we do. Okay, well, let's go upstairs. And we gotta get some sleep, you know. Uh, he is not feeling it right now. He is tired. Marie should probably go to... Or no, oh, God, Isabella is wide awake, which is perfect. So let's go up here. Let's, uh... Marie, stop touching the baby, dang it. Gotta put it back. Okay, here we go. So let's go grab the baby. Let's sell her for $14. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's put her in here. That's a nice little like uh, stationary room for now that she can just wait in. So we're gonna feed. We'll breastfeed her, and then we'll talk with her and rock her, and you know make silly faces, all the fun stuff. Cuddle her, coo at her, and bounce around with her. So there we go. And that's that's gonna be the, the the game plan for right now. Just play with the baby. When Alfonso sleeps, what is Marie gonna do? Marie, you should just go to sleep too. Okay. You're you're already dragging your feet today. Okay, so let's go see. Isabella, I think I want you to sleep too so everyone can sleep a little faster once you get the baby kind of settled. Uh, change diaper too, just in case it ends up pooping. Go to sleep. We need to make some money. and We have $27 and I think our business has $196. So we're only worth like 215 bucks. So we got to make some money. So I think <laughs> Alfonso's got to go to work today. He just has to. It's, there's, he's got no choice. Actually, Mar I mean, I don't want to ask you to do this, Isabella, but you got to go to work today. You gotta. Okay, we got to go run the restaurant. Isabella doesn't really do a lot of the stuff at the restaurant, but she's got to. She's got to go. You know, we're in a bad position right now. We need to make some money. So she's got to go, and she's got to give it her best. Um, we're not going to be able to do any training or anything, obviously, because we're pretty broke. Uh, let's have her go in here and clean up all of this mess. There's quite a bit of mess in here that was left. Okay, so let's clean up all this. So she's just going through cleaning up every single thing there is to clean up. And now we're going to open the doors at like 8.30 in the morning. Okay, so let's go check here. We are going to have the prices at 200%. And we are going to spend the gold package again. Yes, no, the silver package. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so silver package in advertising. And we're going to see what happens here. See if Isabella can make this restaurant some money. Okay, so we already got the cheaper cost of ingredients. So if we can save another 3,000 points, we can get even cheaper cost of ingredients. And that's when restaurants, I think, start making bank. So we're going to just have to play by ear. But everyone's in. Everyone showed up for work. Are we allowing new customers? Yes, we are. So now we're just waiting. Foodie lesson. Isabella's a foodie. We know that. And she's a good businesswoman. So she should be able to run a pretty successful restaurant today. We have four and a half stars. So she's going to come, manage, and welcome Mortimer here. He's a regular, so she wants to make sure she has a good impression on him. We should actually probably put her into her formal. Uh, so let's have her introduce or welcome him. Okay, and then we have another regular that's come in again. Welcome, Clara. What's up? And she's from the Upper Crust, so you know she loves dining out. Then we have Katrina here, too, so we got to talk with her. She comes once in a while. So we're going to welcome all of them and hope that they spend a ton of money because we're all in pretty bad shape right now. Okay, so welcome uh, Pancake and we'll welcome Nancy again. They're always here, man. They are always here. Okay, so he's from another club, the Good Times Club. So we're going to welcome every single person we can right now. We have like a full restaurant. Okay, and then we got Land Grab again coming in. She's back again too? What is she? She's from the Upper Crust. That's why. She loves fine dining. Okay, so he's already been welcomed. 
My god, guys. This restaurant's on ridiculous level right now. Like, no one's seated yet and everyone's coming in. Come on, host. Seat your customers. Seat your customers, host. I'm so nervous. This day could go so bad. But we need it to go so perfectly. So that makes me very nervous. Okay, so did we greet him? We did. We greeted everyone. Now we're just waiting for everyone to seat. Okay, take a seat. Come on, stop talking. J stop jit chatting. Okay, so now we're going to go check in on the tables, okay? We're going to make sure everyone's having a good time and that their tables are satisfactory and they're they're going to be excited about ordering food and all that good stuff. Okay, so she's checking in. She's doing everything she can. She just had a baby uh, this morning, guys. And Isabella's is at work. She's killing it. She's a super mom, you know? <laughs> okay, so welcome. I hope to hear um, I hope to hear you are having a great time, blah, blah, blah. So that's all going good. We gotta get all these people. The, the, our restaurant's super expensive now. So we gotta deliver amazing stuff. Congrats on the new addition to the family. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Okay, so looks like everyone's about to take a seat. Everyone's at their tables. Uh, everyone's having a good time. Come on, seat everyone else, dude. Seat everyone else. We have like a bowl of chili here. I don't know whose that is, but uh, I don't know why that they're not eating it. Like... That would be smart of them to eat it, right? Okay, so let's go check here. I want to look at something, okay? So cost of ingredients are still pretty high. Oh my god, we're losing money. Oh no. Why are we losing so much money? We can't afford to lose that much money. Okay, so there. No advertising. That's where we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. No more advertising. Okay, so let's manage. Check on this table. Come on, start paying, guys. Start spending that money. Did we check on her table yet? No, we didn't, so we'll check on her table. Okay, so it looks like everyone's having a pretty decent time. It looks like uh, we're having Nancy pretty much finish up her meal for the day. That's good, that's good, and we're not spending any more money on advertising, so that's also good. We could prioritize some food, but I don't, I don't think anyone's in a super rush. Okay, so let me check the, the stats now. Okay, we're still negative, but not super negative. Uh, come on, guys, you have to have better times than this. Oh, man. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, four stars, four stars, four stars, three stars. He's got to increase his time. He's got to listen to... No, no, no. Change. Change station to winter holiday. <laughs> there we go. Winter holiday, everybody. Merry Christmas. They're serving food to, like, imaginary people that aren't even sitting at tables. Okay, so let's welcome... Uh, <laughs> What's her name again? Bella Goth? Yeah, okay, let's welcome her. Dude, your food's ready and you're not even at your table. Okay. Okay, it looks like everyone's having a great time. He's having a five-star time. Let's check in on the table. We're going to welcome this man, too, because it's something we've never done. Okay, exit this. Stop chit-chatting with everyone. So let's welcome him. Okay, so he's welcomed. He's probably feeling special right now. Let's prioritize their food. They're sitting over here in the center. She hasn't gotten her food either yet, so we should probably put some priority on that. Oh my god, I'm gonna make sure your food is out first. Okay, everything's going really well. The bus boys are busing everything where it looks like we're making some money. Uh, we're positive on the day so far, so not bad. Not super positive. We gotta make like a thousand dollars today, guys. We have to. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so five star, four star, four, five. Okay, we see it. Like, that's gonna keep us at like a four and a half. We gotta get consistent fives, though, man. Okay, so it looks like everyone's having a decent time. We didn't do a lot of advertising. Oh, is unsatisfied with her job and is uh, tried giving her a promotion to increase her morale. Oh, man. I'm telling you, these people, man, they just don't appreciate, uh, you know, the, the life they have, the work they have. Their promotion for me? I Well, of course, it's about time. I mean, thank you, Mrs. Costa. Okay, so she's happy. She's got that promotion. Everyone's eating. She's having a five-star experience. They haven't ate yet. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Go sit at your stupid tables and eat. You got to be eating right now. You can't be just uh, huh. can't be just walking around this restaurant. It's not a club. It's a restaurant. <laughs> Duh. Okay, come on. We have to make more money than this. This is horrible. This is like the saddest display of money-making I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, we have a new customer. Let's welcome her. Okay, and then let's, uh, come on, welcome her. Welcome her. Stop dancing. Stop dancing with yourself. Okay, okay, we've already welcomed her. We're just waiting for her to sit down. 
Why are these people seated? Why are they not sitting down? Uh, all this attention from the owner is making me feel really special. Well, yeah, it should be. That's the goal. Um, hmm, let me see, let me see. What can we buy? What can we buy? Uh, patient patrons, we already got that. Inspirational speech, fast eaters. Customers will eat their meals faster. That's probably not a bad one to get, because then we can turn more customers in and out of this restaurant quicker. So maybe that's something we save up for and try to try to make happen here. Okay, so more customers coming in. Let's welcome this new customer. And no more new customers, okay? Actually, no, a lot of new customers. Just, just get these people seated. There's so many more tables. Okay, turn this off. Stop dancing. Get out of here. No more dancing. Everyone go sit down. Everyone go sit down at your tables. And get your food. Order your food, darn it. This is very inconvenient. Because everyone's standing and just not trying to get food. Prioritize this food. Okay, stop chit-chatting. we got to prioritize food. Okay, so we prioritize his food. What are these people doing? It's like they're, we're taking orders standing up here. This is a restaurant. What's going on? I don't like this one bit. Okay, so she's got to go to the bathroom. Let's have her use this. Okay, she's going. She's going to go use the toilet. Okay, so let me see here. Um, uh, uh, there's so many people, and we haven't like made any money lately because no one's checking out, so we're losing money daily. Oh, what the heck's going on? Come on, sit down and eat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Criticize. Check up on, okay? Come on, check up on him. Come on, seat these people. Things could be better if you spent a little more time paying attention to the business. I am. What are you doing? Seat the stupid customers. Oh, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to kill this guy. Criticize. Okay, so we're going to criticize him. Get these people. I'll shave up and stop making mistakes. I just didn't sleep well last night. Well, get people seated, man. This is pathetic. People are sitting, but okay, we got to close the restaurant. We got to take a $300 loss. We might have to get a normal. The business is negative $80. We're not going to be able to open again. Oh, no. Are we going to be going out of business? I don't want to have to go out of business. I like being in business. Oh, no, this sucks. How do we keep losing money like this? Uh, and our costs are down and everything. Like, everything's way down, but the wages were high and advertising costs was hardly anything. Our wages, they're killing us. We're going to have to, like, demote some of our employees. But how? We're, we're going to just have to make more money. Maybe people didn't want to eat there because our prices were too much. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We can, we can fix this. We can fix this, guys. We, we have to because... This is gonna. This is our livelihood. This is our dream. This is why we moved from Italy. We can't have a failing business. That's not what we came for. <sighs> but it's negative eighty dollars. So yeah, we do have a failing business on our hands. Okay, so let's go over here and uh, open this up. She's gotta eat something. She's starving. Uh, let's go check in on our little baby up here, baby little Layla. Let's uh, talk with her, rock her, make a silly face, cuddle coo at her, a uh, bouncer, and, you know, all those good things. And bottle feeder, probably, because she's probably pretty hungry. Okay, so he enjoyed his good day off. It looks like Alfonso had a great time. Great day off. Okay, so she's eating her food outside in the dark. Let's uh, have her watch the current TV channel as she eats so she can get some socialization in and have some fun. But guys, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. We're failing miserably. If you guys have any pointers to try to uh, turn our business around, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, don't forget to comment down below the secret hashtag you see up on the screen right now. If you comment it down below, I'll know you watched the whole episode. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, remember to take it easy, live and squeezy.